I know we're having to cut it slightly short, but I want to make the most of Mr. Massey. Well, he's here, 808 States Row. Massey with us, afternoon news. So that was Donkey Doctor mm. from 80890. I mean, these four are absolutely beautiful. They're four classic uh, 808 State albums. Don Solaris, Gorgeous, and Excel as well. Yeah. You, you pleased with the kind of outcome? Because, I mean, obviously you've got the original CDs and then there's just loads of, sort of rarities and bonus tracks and all sorts. Yeah, I mean, we, when you look at a list of all the tunes that we've actually sort of produced, uh, it, it was quite hard to sort of uh, get hold of them because lots of them were sort of only on 12 inches and then we'd do a... Um, exclusive mixes for B-sides of seven inches and there was just such a lot of material that it's great to pull it together really you know and particularly for digital download as well which we we, we hadn't uh, addressed in many years so uh, you know th th this kind of addressed the whole lot oh, that's it, it, it was it was a lot of work family. finding all the uh, origi oh, original tunes yeah. <laughs> because there's so many and it's like how is this one different to this one and, and what no, exactly I had, had to sort of li live with the music for a good six months listening to it again so well this yeah. is why I'm going to ask you now and put you on the spot. What about your favourite tracks Whoa. from the re-releases? <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you lived with that you can still live with, Graham, <laughs> over the time of putting them together? Yeah, I mean, I can live with it all, really, you know, yeah. but um, I think my favourite album, and the one that is kind of overlooked in some ways, is Don Solaris, which was the, done in 1996. Yeah. And uh, it was quite a strange time in dance music uh, when, you know, drum and bass was like the big thing in dance music then. And, and it so, had gotten to Manchester as well yeah. by that time, hadn't it? With clubs at Phoenix and stuff, it was kind of, it was quite big. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was kind of the dominant force in dance music at that point. And we were almost considered slightly mature at that time, you know. <laughs> Old school. And, and I think it is a very mature album. It's, it's kind of like, the thing with 808 State is that we did address albums as albums, whereas a lot of dance music acts concentrate on the dance floor and concentrate 12 on 12 inches, inches. Yeah. and we never had that attitude when we took albums seriously you know we even thought in you know from a very old school point of view as side a and side b and structuring it as a as a landscape and a uh, you know an evolving thing you know and each one having a particular feel yeah, no? I, I think that was quite unique for a, for a dance act or, or an electronic act now, you, what you also notice on here is the amount of people that you hooked up with along the way. And we had yeah. Lopez mentioned to us, actually, when we talked about ZTT Records last week, the one with James Dean Bradfield, right. uh, Bernard Sumner, of course, sung with you, Bjork, Lou Rhodes. Yeah. I mean, did you choose who you worked with, or was this kind of, did it come yeah, to you? Yeah, we did. We like to... Um, find our way through that in an organic way and at certain points we we everyone came up with ideas people outside the band always came up with ideas of oh you should do a track with this person you should do a track with that person and i kind of got a bit you know uh, guarded about it so when we um darren from 808 suggested doing one with jane steel bradfield I, I was kind of in the goal mouth trying to defend at that point <laughs> but i'm really glad he forced the issue because uh, i think it's a very um, unique uh, version of james dean bradfield in a very different context it's almost like an ambient track and um i think it stood the test of time that track I'm well really what we'll do is we'll try and play there's, there's a lovely brian eno remix actually on yeah. the don solaris release so we'll try and do that on the friday remix this week definitely right. um now we saw you at primavera 808 state oh, yeah. performed live at the festival in yeah, barcelona we've been doing summer. quite a few festivals this summer do you enjoy it to uh you know um put our faces in yeah i thought the primavera festival was very well organized and very um it was a great sight wasn't it a great yeah. sight for a festival you know no it was, mud <laughs> there was absolutely no mud it was concreted it was by the sea i'd like to say our british Warmish. experiences were equally delightful but um, i'm afraid they weren't <laughs> <laughs> a little bit wet and soggy around the edges That's i right, imagine yeah. now uh the 808 state djs are out in spain this weekend again, oh, they're back in this, spain they yeah. are yeah they can't get yeah. enough i so, can't keep track with those guys they're, they're uh, so this is andy and darren isn't yeah they, they operate separately as the djs and uh, they also, as you know, used to have a radio programme in Manchester, really good radio DJs as well. I so do, I remember. Well, it's it's like a them. franchise off, off the main <laughs> 808 State thing. So. A little kind of offshoot. Yeah. Uh, so will we see more 808 State live in 2009? or? Kind yeah, of? I believe we're doing the Bang Face Weekender. We've just committed to doing that, which is in April next year. Brilliant. I mean, it's really hard to plan that far ahead, but 
we've uh, um, the forced us into committing to that. So. <laughs> Dave, Dave look, yeah. I'm brilliant. They kind of tracked you down for yeah, that one. Yeah, because we, you know, we're not out there on a career path anymore. You know, we kind of put it to bed back in 2000. Well, you've got your ladies yeah. with organs yeah, instead exactly. of transistors to kind of look after. Right, but, listen. but it's a kind of a tradition little thing. You know, we'll, we, we still enjoy doing it. Yeah. No, it's Graham, it's fantastic to hear. We, we love the four re-releases and uh, it's Mondo and Mancunia sounds brilliant. We'll put up the link online so people can get a bit more of an idea and of course it kicks off at Shunt Vaults tonight in yeah. uh, London. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with it all. Sunday evenings from 10. Step into the mind of an award-winning musician. Listen to his favourite records and find out what inspires him.